right, uh, we are here on the lower sack with Matt Squilante, and these are the sticks. The stick. Yeah, where's the stick? There he is. That's the stick yeah. right there. Stick number two. But you got a 25 inch steelhead yesterday. Not me. Wait, who? Oh yeah, you did. Oh, what did you get? Oh wait, you didn't set the hook. That's right. I'm my bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, so we are here. You're gonna see a lot of fishing beginning of October, and uh, Matt is getting his ice ready to go. Uh, why don't you wait a second? We were on the Yuba one day. Why don't you ask? Luke. Okay, I was on the Yuba one time, and I might have blown it. <laughs> what happened? What just happened, Luke? Okay, I made an expert cast. Expert. Expert level cast. Okay. And then I was doing a men, and yeah. then my bobber went down, and it, the fish was on. I felt, I dude, I felt it. How big was the fish, Luke? It was, it was just a small Yuba one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, what is going on here? Ah. Uh. That's a rough one, man. That's <laughs> Listen, right. guys, let's, let's you're not supposed to laugh at your guide. Let's, let's okay. talk about that. All right. So, anyway, I saw Matt once hit a rock. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna stay we're gonna stay tuned, and we'll have a good right. day today. Tim is hooked up right there. Uh, we've got this going on right now. So we just hooked a fish, and then it came off, and everything came flying back because the fish decided to go into your flies. Yes. <laughs> you had the fish on though. Yeah. So we're gonna go take care of this while they hopefully land their fish. Oh, let's see. I think they are landing it. Uh, someday. Uh, so what was that fish forward. that you wouldn't let us take a video of? Uh, it was, big it was a California and... golden trout. It was, it was about beautiful. 24 inches, about maybe? This big. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I want to just say the way that you got rid of it was full of disdain and anger. All right, so we just had a bobber go down uh, with no response. Oh, that was some response. Okay. Uh, got one in the front, got one in the back. That's how we roll. Don't pay attention to how si small they are, okay? Dang it. <laughs> the fact is we got a double. We got a double. Uh, could you guys keep them on until we get by the other boat? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Another fish back of the boat. The guy who couldn't set the hook yesterday. Yeah, yesterday, not, not setting the hook today. What about you? You can get a double over here? Get a double. Get double it up. See. Ooh, nice little trout, wild trout. Wild trout. Okay, it's totally impossible. Never ever can dry fly the lower sack, but every once in a while, there's some risers and we got some risers. And the stick, also known as Chris, but everybody calls him stick, uh, is feeding down a good 100, 100 feet of fly line. Another blow up down there, you see that one? A little bit yeah. further. Might have to drop down, but. So what we got going on here, some rising fish and what chris is going to do is do a reach cast see how he reaches his rod and that just allows the fly line to be above the fly so his presentation doesn't get jacked up by the current drag so we're running a chubby chernobyl with a little parachute atoms about 24 inches behind it so we're kind of using the chubby as a night like to find that fly uh, but yesterday, we actually got a uh, number of fish to eat the chubby. This guy in particular, <laughs> like, got, was that a dive bomb takedown? It was a dive bomb fish. Yeah, we, we are okay uh, with that. Got another fish back here. So the fishing's been pretty decent. It's uh, not been on fire yet, but plenty of time for that. Rod bent, cool. Uh, and then there's Matt over there. Just, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably taking video of us that's what i'd be doing if i was him all right we are hooked up here with something that might be bigger than 15 inches it's <laughs> doing some head shakes all right we will come back to you in a second when we net this thing all right the circle caddis worked on this nice rainbow trout all right Good job, man. How'd it feel? Thanks. Oh, it was phenomenal. All right, dude. Good job, man. All right, let's let that go. Gently put her in the river. You're good. Right or left? Uh, whatever side's easiest for you. I'm just concerned about your ability to lean over. I'm old. You know? I'm old. <laughs> the stick is on. <clears throat> will it be a big steelhead or will it be a big trout? 
a big trout. <laughs> Which one would it be? Uh, actually, sir, trout and steelhead are the same thing. Okay, <laughs> shut up. That's not the point, YouTube. Excuse me, so sir. Let's, let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, we'll be back in a minute here, folks. Yeah, what we got here? Nice little rainbow. Ooh, nice. Right. Good job. Nice one. Good one. Uh, yeah. See you later, buddy. Nice. There you go. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got Dale here, and if you look at the rod tip, it's barely bending. Yeah. That's the wrong way to do it. Dude, that's a nice pike minnow. Oh, God, we just got... Just got done eating some lunch here. Dale's uh, hooked up on not a trash fish. He's been quite good at <laughs> catching non-trout species. It takes a lot to do that. Um, but anyway, we had some sandwiches. Fishing has been picking up. And we're going to put this fish in the net. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice, nice fish. All right, All let's right. get hooked up. Again. Climb and gauge pickle. This is a kind of a crazy fish here. Yeah. All righty, so another fish. Uh, nice trout. Yeah, look at that specimen. Good job. How was that? Was that fun? Oh, it was the takedown of the week. Yeah, that was a pretty good yeah. eat. I shook off the big one though, so it slammed. You didn't down. want it. All right, so uh, again, you can't dry fly on the lower sack, um, but <laughs> what'd you get in there? Well, let's see. So it's got a really big fly in its face. Let's see that fly. What is that? Chubby Chernobyl. So you can't dry fly on the lower sack. It's just not possible. Not possible. Okay, here we go. We got more rising fish. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Dude, you see that one? Keep feeding it, keep feeding it. Aggressive feeds, aggressive feeds. There you go, that's it, that's it. Keep feeding it, keep feeding, aggressive stacks, yep. Nice, 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 nice. Keep going, keep going. Cause it's catching up. Okay, I'll slip shirt back and now go over. Oh, oh gosh. Right. He's been up. Got it. That's last, been cast. Last, last cast. Last cast. Dry fly fishing, there lower Sacramento River. All right, we just got off the river, Matt. Uh, and me, and it was a pretty good day. Caught a fair amount of fish. Yeah. Uh, so if you're looking for an opportunity to fish, uh, Matt, do you have any open days in October? I got a few open days still left in October, yeah. Okay, so listen, you can uh, get a hold of Confluence Outfitters. I've got zero days available in October, uh, and I have some at the end of November. Matt's available, we got some other guides too, but you know, we had some dry fly opportunities today, caught a fair amount of fish. The fishing was really good on the lower sack. We also have the Trinity though. The Trinity has been fishing really well. You've been doing well out there too, correct? Yeah, Trinity's been great. Yeah, so hey, hit up confluenceoutfitters.com. You can give us a call at the 1-800 number and we'd love to get you out. So uh, Matt, sign us out. All right, give us a call at Confluence. Take right, care. So this is a, what, was it 26, 25, 26? Hatchery fish, nurse that baby back.